We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video here from our beautiful five acre homestead in sunny central Portugal. I absolutely love these days. The sun shining down on my skin, it's already warm and I've just let the chickens out so it's definitely gonna be a blistering hot day. So in this video, I'm going to be answering your guys' most asked questions. I absolutely love filming these Q&A videos. So the first question is, how are your animals keeping cool in this crazy heat that we get here in central Portugal? So the chickens are just really sensible. What they do is we let them out early morning before it gets too warm so they can forage around the property. And then they just spend all their time hiding out in the forest areas, under the trees, and generally just having dust baths. <gasps> So the goats are really similar to the chickens. We let them out early in the morning with the sunrise. They forage around the property, get as much nutrients as they can in the morning. We then put them back in their enclosure where they hang out. We made sure that we built the enclosure with plenty of shade. So there's lots of cork oaks which provide shade all day for them. Obviously all of our animals have plenty of food and water throughout the day. And then we actually let the goats out again later in the evening when the sun's a lot lower and a lot cooler. They are a Portuguese breed of goat and they seem to do really well in the heat. So the cats, we all generally know cats are fairly lazy creatures. So the cats basically just spend all day inside the barn where it's a lot cooler just sleeping and then throughout the evening and into the night they go out and do their thing and we basically don't see them until the morning. So the next question is do you have room for a root cellar on your property? And the answer is, yeah, we have plenty of room to do a multitude of different projects. And I actually found this old chest freezer on the side of the road. And I really want to convert this into a root cellar for B, so she can can and keep and preserve all of her veggies and stuff that she grows in here. I really want to dig it into the ground, but at the moment in the summer, the ground is far too hard. So this will be more of a winter project. So the next question is, have you found any more amazing swimming holes to call off in, in the warm weather? And the answer is definitely yes. I think I could do with one right now because I'm melting. <laughs> Basically, we get up in the morning and we work 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. And then after that, we generally go and find somewhere to cool down, whether it's in our own little swimming pool, or we go out and explore the local area. It's been so lovely to travel around central Portugal and find as many river beaches, lakes, and wild swimming spots that we can. They're so well maintained and it's definitely a really nice feature of living in the interior of Portugal. I nearly fell over. <laughs> <laughs> Today it's so nice, like literally within five seconds, I'm feeling like the water's warm. This is the absolute dream, just hanging out in the middle of the lake. It's so calming and peaceful being on the water. I absolutely love it. So we've definitely acclimatized to the hot weather here in Portugal, 
but we've also put things in place on the property to make our life easier throughout the summer. So number one, we've got the cold shower down by the well that draws the water straight out the well from underground that is freezing cold. That is really nice on a really warm day to go down there and just cool off. The second, we have a little swimming pool. Can't really call it a swimming pool because you can't swim in it, but maybe a little dipping pool that we go down and you just spend 20 minutes in there and you feel completely refreshed. <laughs> Chewing off your cat. Yeah. You need to get more water on you to get the lime face. out. <laughs> it's literally just stopped my face from getting wet. It's brilliant. You need to get the lime out. Oh, it's gone cold now. Right, that's done. I'm getting naked. Oh, okay. Turn to time to turn the camera on. <laughs> So another thing that was really important for us to make our life more bearable through the heat of the summers here in Portugal was to move out of the caravan. When we initially moved here to the property and started doing the barn renovation, we moved into a caravan. Kind of just fell in love with this caravan. room which is a short hop skip and a jump away from the fridge um, basically this is the living room and the bedroom and you might have noticed that there's an awful lot of white going on in this caravan I did document the entire renovation on our YouTube channel and when I first got the white out a lot of people were pretty shocked with the fact that I was choosing to go completely white in here but it has opened the space up amazingly if you use light colors in a small space everybody knows that opens it up really nicely and that's why I've got other smaller features darker to really bring them in together but the caravan was not designed to be living in extreme cold or extreme heat but now we're living in the barn conversion our life has got so much better the walls are half a meter thick so they're really good in the warm temperatures and the barn stays nice and cool throughout the day. What's this hole doing? Why is it there? And a wider shot of this wall, you will notice that there's actually two of these holes. And what these were used for is for when they were building this building, they would have used like old, like eucalyptus trees that they'd chopped down and they'd put them in here and they'd span across the room and what they'd do is they'd use that as a platform to stand on to build the rest of the height with the stone. So it was kind of like the original scaffolding. I left both of them. One of them's like a little nook where we're gonna put stuff in there at the moment. It's just housing a pine cone. <laughs> it actually looks really nice. It just adds a little bit of character because it's got a story to it. And also it's gonna be useful to put little knickknacks in it. This one here, you can see is very bright and that's because the sun is currently going down and what you get is you get this beautiful light that pours through in the evening. It's really golden, really beautiful and it's nice to just keep that because we, we obviously don't have any windows in this side and this is where the sun goes down. I really hope that you are enjoying this video. It's so much fun answering all of your questions. And one we get quite a lot actually is who have we built our website through? And the answer is Squarespace, who have also kindly sponsored today's video. If you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an online platform where you can build and design your very own website. And the fantastic thing about it is that you don't need any experience whatsoever with web design. Squarespace is designed with the user in mind and they've made it as stress-free as possible to build your very own website. It can be super daunting to do it yourself, but there's loads of different themes for you to choose from that you can preview, see whether you like the look of it, then you can customize it to have exactly what you want in there by dragging and dropping different features into it. I regularly change up different things on our website and it is so incredibly simple to do it. There's a website to suit anyone on Squarespace. Say if you've got a restaurant and you wanna 
have your menu on there. Maybe you're really creative and have a little blog where you want to showcase different things that you've made. Or you're like us and you've got a number of different things that you want all in one place. We've got our blog, our newsletter and our shop all on our website and it looks really wonderful. It's very pleasing on the eye and very easy for people to find what they need on our website. If you'd like to try out Squarespace, all you need to do is go to squarespace.com forward slash indie projects for a two week free trial and then 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Also, you can use the code indie projects. So give it a go and try it out for yourself. So the next question isn't really a question, but someone said, you guys have to visit the Azores, and we do, and we definitely want to. It's high up on our bucket list, and next year we're definitely gonna visit there, and we're gonna bring you guys along with us because it just looks so beautiful and lush, and we'd love to travel around the island. Quite a lot of juice already. Yeah, it is, isn't it? They're really juicy oranges. It's so wonderful to sit here in the sun and drink some of the sun right here. Oranges from our own tree juiced into our own juice. <laughs> That is wonderful. That is wonderful. How cool is it that you can grow stuff on your own land and drink from your own land and eat from your own land and just be kind of a little bit more self-sufficient? And just so far away from when I think about how our lives were 10 years ago living in the city. I've been waiting for this moment <laughs> since we started this project and it was in my mind what I wanted it to look like and this was always the picture I always had it in my head the wooden floor, the pointed walls with the plastered walls, the mezzanine and the lovely beautiful chestnut roof and here we are today <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna see my vision come alive Look at this floor! What are you doing? Just the fact that I can sit on this clean floor Imagine a nice little yoga mat down here where you can do your yoga. Yeah, just look at this. It's huge. Look at it. Let me do a 360 <laughs> and then go under the mezzanine. Oh wow, how nice. Does that stone wall look pointed up? It looks amazing. So I was just literally just staring. <laughs> just staring because I can't. I can't put it into words how long we've been envisioning this and when it would actually be like this and now it's like this I just can't quite function properly. So the next question is are we living full time in the barn conversion now and the answer is yes it's been absolutely amazing we've been living in the barn conversion now for many months and it's the most comfortable place that me and B have ever lived. We've just got everything that we need. I know it's a small space, but the way we've designed it, it all just flows and works together really nicely. That's not saying we wouldn't like more space in the future, but for now, this is just a lovely place to live. The next question is really good and it is how did you choose to come to Portugal and did you have any other countries on the list of places to move to and the answer is yeah we had quite a few countries that we were interested in even the Scandinavian countries so Sweden, Norway and Finland we were really interested in the States, Canada but Portugal we spent a lot of time here throughout the winters in our camper van just getting that winter sun we spent a lot of time up in the Algarve and really fell in love with it so we decided that this would be a really nice place to have a base
this well is actually a spring-fed well and you can tell there's water here because of all of the overgrowth and it really needs a trim but we don't have time to do that right now. Guys, Bee's driving the tractor, this is amazing! So the next question is all about water filtration and do we have a water filtration system? You can see behind me we've got our 3,000 litres of water in the tank that runs into our house. Then it runs into a boiler so we can have hot and cold water. We have had the water that runs into this tank from our two wells tested and the results came back really clear. Although I wouldn't drink straight from the well water, it does need to be filtered. So if you guys have any recommendations of water filters that we can put in line so that we can drink the water straight from this tank, then please let me know in the comments. That actually looks so nice. It looks really good and actually being on this side of it, it makes it feel like more of a room. You'll all be happy to know that when I'm sleeping, if I roll off, I'm just gonna get wedged between the barrier and the bed and it will stop me from, uh, from sudden death. So the next person says they've really enjoyed watching our videos and what we've achieved with this barn renovation, but in the future, would we consider building a bigger house here on the property? And the short answer is no we wouldn't build a bigger house on this particular property. But an interesting fact is when we actually purchased this land, it actually had planning permissions from the previous owner to build a new build house on here. The real shame was they were gonna knock down the barn. So I'm really happy that we've kept the original barn that was on this property, restored it back to its former glory, and now it's a really comfortable home for me and B. So the next question is, what are you gonna do with the barn when you've finished it? And also, what's your five-year plan? And this question actually fills me with joy because I'm very excited about the future. As you guys know, we're not the kind of people to complete a project and just sit on it and that's it, done. We can have a nice life living in this barn and this is our forever home. This isn't our forever home, but this has been such an interesting project and a place that we hope to keep for many years to come. But that being said, we are called the Indie Projects for a reason and we have some incredibly exciting things coming up in the near future. The absolute style that's going on this morning, check that out. Socks and sandals with the loudest socks of ever wore. Come on. Now you've got to do a 55 point turn to get out. Well, they weren't the same size already, were they? No, that looks like 32. Yeah, two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, shit. So that's what So then we need to trim down the sides as well. Of the middle frame. Of the middle shelf. Is that what you're saying? No, no, the sides. That are going oh, we need to cut yeah, in half, yeah. yeah. So that's already done, done, done. So one, two, three, times three, large, done. So this is a question we get asked a lot and it's about the kitchen and why we haven't completed the kitchen yet. And there's a number of reasons, but the main reason is all of that plumbing that you've seen me doing, that is because we need to get the utilities up and running and in place before I can put the countertops on. I would say that the kitchen is about 85% finished. All I need to do is go out and find the work surfaces that we're gonna use because we need to use custom wood. I need to scribe them to the walls because obviously we're in a stone building and the walls aren't straight. But once that's done, we're basically there. 
I'm also waiting for a solar package to arrive so I can finish installing our full solar system which will run our fridge, it will run our pump for the water and a few other things within the kitchen. So I'm very excited about that but the kitchen would definitely be a main priority when we get back from Canada. So the next question is what do you get up to in your free time and believe it or not I don't actually get much free time because the barn renovation takes up a huge amount of time. Also when you have animals you can't just leave and do whatever you want you have to work around the animals make sure they're in at night make sure they're fed they're watered but when I do have time off I love to go and play pool. Pretty extreme. <laughs> really, I think they're gonna like that. So I'm currently sat in the goat enclosure on their seesaw that I built for them. And the next question is, would we get any more animals in the future? And the answer to that is definitely yes. One of the things that we're really considering is to get sheep. We really think they'd be really good to add into the mix and they're brilliant lawn mowers. So I think I'm going to end the video there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I answered your question. It's just a good way of you guys finding out a little bit more information about what we got going on. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you on the next video for even more projects.